Um, my name is Kerstin. I'm the Chief Communication Officer at the Time Machine Organization. And today I have the pleasure to talk to my dear colleague, Ilaria, who is our local time machine manager, as she has some exciting news to share with us. Um, we have a new feature available on the local time machine project website and Ilaria is gonna run us through it. Ilaria, please. With pleasure. Good morning, everyone. And uh, welcome to this short demonstration of this new feature that we introduced very recently onto our local time machines environment in on the local time machine on the time machine website. Uh, you might already be familiar with this space, of course, by visiting a, in building a, a time machine, visiting local time machines, you get access to uh, the visualization interface uh, showcasing all uh, local time machines and local time machine projects that have been registered throughout the years on, uh, on our website. Uh, but how uh, does this mapping of projects throughout Europe, projects that of course contribute to our collective ambition of developing the big data of the past, how this, does this mapping and collection of projects uh, take place? Uh, well, of course you can actually contribute to such collection and that can be done very easily. If you have one or more projects that fit uh, within, fall within the scope of uh, time machine. So projects that have to do with uh, data digitization, with the uh, reconstructions, uh, social historical reconstructions, with even with the development of data aggregation platforms or uh, other kind of visualization tools, for instance, uh, please feel free to propose them as a local time machine project. And this can be done very easily on the same, onto the same environment by visiting the propose a project uh, subpage on the website. And here you will get access to a registration form that we have actually updated quite recently to collect all sorts of information, very detailed information on the projects that we will welcome on our, on our platform. Uh, basic information such as what's the institution that is responsible for the project, contact person, uh, the historical period that a project refers to, the places for which your project is actually developing that data, etc, cetera, etc, cetera. but also information on, for instance, organizational uh, matters related to your project or the digitization aspect. Is your project digitizing data and what sorts of data, if so? Uh, what data are being produced? Would you like to share them already if they are open access, for instance? Uh, perhaps your project is developing some infrastructural solution, in which case this can also be, become part of the registration process, et cetera, et cetera. So by filling in this, uh, this form, you will actually get to uh, have your project visualized on our, on our map. And uh, interestingly, thanks to this new feature that has been introduced, it is possible to filter uh, projects now, not just by, for instance, location, geographical location or title, et cetera, but also by the tags that you that have, have been used uh, during the registration phase. So suppose your project has to do with 3D reconstruction. Anyone who uh, selects 3D reconstruction uh, as a filter, as a filter, will actually get to uh, have access to uh, all projects that have to do with 3D reconstruction. So if your project is among them, it will be shown on, on the map. So we're happy uh, with this new feature that actually allows users to uh, access uh, information in a much more uh, detailed way, in a much more fine-grained way, uh, but also that uh, will allow projects to be showcased on the map uh, in, uh, yeah, and get all the visibility they deserve. Brilliant. Um, if I understood correctly, it's also possible for those projects that we already have in our community and have registered on the website to update their information. Is that right? Yes, that's right, Kerstin. Uh, actually, it might be the case that you're not registering a new project, but that uh, your project has been part of uh, our uh, environment, of our local time machines environment for quite a long time. If that's the case, uh, please take this opportunity to actually update the information on your project. At the time of the registration, you have received an editorial link, which you can uh, just click upon and you will get access to this new registration form. Uh, of course, all the existing information will remain there, 
you don't have to register the project from scratch again, uh, but you can add these new, these new details that we weren't collecting before. And this will uh, actually uh, make it possible, for, this will allow your project to become, to be visualized also in these filtered views. And this of course is very important in itself, but also gives us as time machine so much more information on what is going on with the projects throughout Europe and this will allow us to uh, make sure that our offer in terms, for instance, of uh, creation of working groups, writing of the, of the uh, request for comments uh, process, and all sorts of uh, educational offers and networking offers that we, uh, that we create for our community are actually based on what is going on on the field. Wow, so this is really very, um, very useful and handy tool to have. Thank you so much, Ilaria, for demonstrating um, in detail. Um, and I think at this point, we also have to thank our chief technical officer, uh, Daniel, who made this um, tool possible. Um, yeah, and I'd say, go ahead, try it out. Um, let us know what you think. Um, if you have a project registered already, make sure to up your, update your, your information. Um, and yes, have fun exploring our local time machine landscape. All right. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.